Adrenaline helps a person become stronger and faster. One of the easiest ways to get a dose of adrenaline without risking your life is to go on an extreme ride. According to scientists adrenaline is a great stress reliever. The most exciting rides in the world. Wildfire is a wooden roller coaster at Komarden Wildlife Park located in Komarden, Sweden. Manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction, the roller coaster is both the fastest wooden coaster in Europe and second tallest wooden coaster in the world. Throughout the two minute ride, trains travel through three inversions and 12 airtime hills, whilst reaching speeds of up to 71 miles per hour. Falcon's Fury is a freestanding sky jump drop tower attraction at Bush Gardens Tampa Amusement Park in Tampa, Florida, United States. Manufactured by Intermean subsidiary Interide. The ride reaches a maximum height of 335 feet, making it North America's tallest freestanding drop tower. Riders experience about 5 seconds of free fall, reaching a speed of 60 miles per hour. The ride's name was chosen to invoke a falcon's ability to dive steeply at high speed to capture prey. The giant canyon swing at Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park moves four passengers back and forth, takes them nearly vertical at the height of each swinging arc, hits a top speed of 50 miles per hour. That cliff is 1,300 feet above the Colorado River. Fun fact, the giant canyon swing opened in 2010. It replaced an older, less robust swing ride. The current pneumatically powered model allows the ride to go much faster, providing the ultimate thrill for everyday daredevil. Owner Steve Beckley was terrified of riding the giant canyon swing. He rode it for the first and only time when Bert the Conqueror, Sam Champion and the crew of ABC's Good Morning America were on site to film an episode. The Giant Canyon Swing has been featured extensively in the media and is a park favorite. One of the most popular attractions at Beach Park is the aptly named Insano. This 135-foot water slide's vertical angle yields incredibly rapid descents, at speeds of up to 65 miles per hour. Brave people plunge down it in about 5 seconds. The slide was once in the Guinness Book of World Records for its height but in 2002 was eclipsed by the Kilimanjaro slide at All Day Das Aguas Park Resort in Barra do Pirai. King Daka is a launched roller coaster located at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Designed by Werner Stengel, King Daka is an accelerator coaster model from Intermean that opened as the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world on May 21, 2005. The train is launched by a hydraulic launch mechanism, accelerating to 128 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The train climbs the main top hat tower element at the end of the launch track, reaching a height of 456 feet, before dropping 418 feet and completing the course in 28 seconds. Formula Rosa is a launched roller coaster located at Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi. Manufactured by Intermean, Formula Rosa is the world's fastest roller coaster with a top speed of 240 km h. The coaster train accelerates to its top speed in 4.9 seconds using a hydraulic launch system which generates a release velocity similar to that of steam catapults on an aircraft carrier. Riders experience up to 1.7 g-force during acceleration and up to 4.8 grams throughout the ride. The roller coaster track is 2.2 kilometers in length, ranking it sixth in the world for steel roller coasters. Its shape was inspired by the legendary Italian racetrack Autonomo Nazionale Monza. Due to the high air speeds and thus risk of an impact with airborne particulates or insects, all riders are required to wear safety glasses. Formula Rosa surpassed King Daka at Six Flags Great Adventure as the world's fastest roller coaster, with King Daka retaining the record of the tallest roller coaster in the world. Takabisha is a steel roller coaster located at the Fuji Q Highland theme park in Fuji Yoshida, Japan. The 3,300 feet ride begins with a sudden drop into pitch black darkness. In just two seconds, 
the car is launched by linear motors down a 207 feet long tunnel to a speed of 62 miles per hour. It then exits out of the station building and directly into a large inverted top hat. Immediately following the exit of this inversion the car goes into a banana roll, corkscrew and then two airtime hills. The ride is slowed on a set of block brakes and returns into the station building. The track then turns a sharp 180 degrees turn to the right before going back out of the building and onto the vertical chain lift hill. This hill takes riders up to a height of 141 feet. Once at the top, the car slowly inches towards the record-breaking 121 degrees, beyond vertical drop. Once the car is released from the top of the hill, it hurtles back down towards the ground and enters a dive loop, an inline loop and finally the seventh inversion. An Immelman loop. The whole ride is over within two minutes. Insanity is a thrill ride located at the top of the stratosphere in Las Vegas, Nevada that opened in 2005. Insanity the ride is a truly mind-bending experience. A massive mechanical arm extending out 64 feet over the edge of the ski pod at a height of over 866 feet. This Vegas ride will spin you and several other passengers in the open air at speeds of up to 3 gs. You will be propelled up to an angle of 70 degrees, which will tilt your body into one position, straight down. If you're brave enough to keep your eyes open, you will be rewarded with a breathtaking view of historic downtown Las Vegas. For the ultimate ride of your life the Big Rush Big Swing at the Moses Mabita Stadium is a must. This is the world's only stadium swing anywhere. Jump into the void 348 feet above the World Cup football pitch and swing out in a huge 722 feet arc under the iconic arch. All equipment and instruction is provided by fully qualified staff. The jump operates every day, weather permitting. There is no age limit and they have jumped clients as young as 8 years and as old as 75. Comfortable walking shoes must be worn. Swing clients have the added bonus of walking up the arch from where they can stop and admire the spectacular views of Durban and the Indian Ocean. Our viewing area is set aside within the stadium for family and friends to watch their relations jump from the platform. In China have built a gigantic super swing, which equals to the height of a 30-story tall building, on the edge of a cliff 2,300 feet above the ground. The vertigo-inducing ride can catapult thrill-seekers over a river valley at a top speed of 80 miles per hour. The huge ride consists of a 328 feet arch and a 354 feet launching tower, and is situated at an altitude of 3,608 feet. Thrill seekers, up to three in one go, will be lifted into the air by rope attached to the launching tower before being flung out at a high speed. Instead of being secured to chairs, tourists will be bound to harness side by side horizontally before taking the white knuckle ride. Head engineer Sheik Zubin said the swing could reach a maximum angle of 90 degrees above the ground, or 230 feet from the edge of the edge of the cliff.